Hello, everyone. My guest today is Amir Atli. He's an 18-year-old who's passionate about making things people need and use. He's tried a lot of things, varying from personalized book boxes to a social media app to solve different problems with his friends, to now growing his first software as a service company, HockeyStack.com. Amir, are you ready to take us to the top? Yeah. All right. What is HockeyStack and how do you guys make money? Um, HockeyStack is a um, web analytics tool that is powerful and simple. Um, so it's a SaaS company. You can create um, funnels, goals, um, segments, and get insights with it with no code. And and so is this like an easier to use version of like a mixed panel, would you say, or bare metrics, or how would you describe it? Um, so like mixed panel is more of a like product analytics tool. HockeySec is focused on web um, conversions. So it's more of a simplified version of um, Google Analytics and um, and like a faster way of Hotjar, I would say. Okay, got it. So a version of Google Analytics plus Hotjar put together. And when did you launch the business? Um, so it's a little bit complicated because we pivoted from a product analytics tool. So we first started working on analytics um, in May last year. Um, like eight eight months later, this um, this year in February, we pivoted to HockeySec and we started working full time on that on HockeySec. Oh, great! And now, who is we? Do you have co-founders? I'm sorry. Do you have co-founders? Yeah, I have two other co-founders. Okay, two. Co did you? How did you guys split equity? Um, thirty three, thirty three, thirty three. That's very nice. You guys just said right down the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so you split it down the middle, and and how did you decide what to launch with pricing wise? What do you charge for this? Um, so we recently changed the pricing to <clears throat> domain based pricing. Um, so before it was like um, one one domain, three domain, ten domains, and unlimited domains. Um, so right now we are charging it based on domains, number of domains, and page views. Um, we are testing the new pricing model. We also recently changed, like added a new um, free plan. Um, it's going well right now. And, and so when you look at your current customers, what are they paying you per month on average? Um, so we have um, lifetime customers and monthly customers right now. We launched on AppSumo. I would love to let, tell you that story too. Um, so we have around, I would say, um, 15 to around like 16 monthly customers um, who are paying um, on average $50, $50 per month. Um, and we have around um, a little bit more than 1,000 lifetime customers. OK, tell me about the AppSumo deal. Uh, so um, as I mentioned earlier, we, um, we started working on a product analytics tool last year in May. Um, we worked on it for like eight months. and. Um, during those eight months, we needed um, a, an existing data point, data set. So we needed to um, integrate our product into a SaaS company's product to get some data because the, like, the um, product that we were building was about giving insights about who is converting well and why are they converting, basically. Um, and I contacted the cust um, founders, but none of them agreed to like integrate the product. Um, it's like it's understandable, but um, then we launched this hockey stack um, on Product Hunt and AppSumo to integrate our product analytics tool and get some data so that we can build the product analytics tool. So it wasn't nothing serious. Then it started getting traction on AppSumo and Product Hunt, and we launched it, we launched it in on AppSumo um, in August last year, and we made around thousand um, dollars until February, and How then one thousand. $1,000, yeah. And then we started, I started um, working on sales um, and we started focusing on hockey stack. And then in in one month, we made around um, $150,000 um, on AppSumo in sales. And then they, like, we were on the marketplace side and then they, like, offered us to, like, um, be on the select side of my, our AppSumo. Um, and then we, um, we were on the select side for another month. So... Uh, we were on Epsimo for two months. Um, now it's ended and we are solely focusing on uh, monthly revenue. So when you were on the marketplace side of AppSumo and you had $150,000 in sales, how much of that did you get to keep? Um, we, we kept around 90, $90,000.
Okay, so you kept around 90,000 there. And then you moved over to the other side where you did your own exclusive deal. So you weren't in the marketplace anymore. How many did you sell when you were not in the marketplace? Um, on the select side, on the front page, um, we sold the same amount, but we kept only the 30% of the um, sales. So we made around um, $40,000, I would say. Okay, so on the marketplace side, you made 90,000. And then on the select side, you made 40,000. Yeah. Okay. And and so how many total buyers did you have from AppSumo? Um, I don't know the number, but we sold 3,000 codes. Okay, 3,000 codes. So now fast forward a couple months. Are those 3,000 folks converting to monthly plans? Are they the users you want to go build a big company around? Are they good users? How would you, how would you analyze them? Um, so nine, um, 900 of them, like around, around, we have around um, a little bit more than 1,000 lifetime users. So 900 of them um, enter Hockeystacks dashboard monthly. Um, around 400 of them enter the dashboard weekly. So it's a good number for a lifetime deal. Um, we are not like, um, they are also, they also know that like, we don't um, build the product for them because they won't ever convert into a monthly customer. But um, since we first launched the AppSumo deal, we like, we added a lot of new features to Akisek and they were the, like, um, their feedback was the like um, biggest source of inspiration for us. And since then, we really developed the product, and it made um, the like our cold outbound and um, marketing much easier. Um, so it was really beneficial for us. If you if you if you built the updated features based off the feedback from the AppSumo, the thousand AppSumo users, why have only sixteen of them, one six, converted into a paid plan? I mean, if you listened to them and built what they wanted, wouldn't a lot of them be converting to paid? Um, do you mean like monthly? Correct. Monthly? Mm -hmm. So we don't we we haven't offered any like uh, monthly plan for lifetime deal customers yet. Um, we are, we will test it. Um, I I guess next week um, we will roll out two new features. One is like revenue dashboard and one is automatic funnels. Um, we will test it and see how it will go. Okay, so so you're giving them all the new features for free right now if they have a lifetime deal. Mm -hmm. But anyone who comes to you new today has to pay $50 a month. Yeah. I see. Okay. So how are you outside of AppSumo and Product Hunt? How are you getting new users today? Mm -hmm. So we are doing a lot of SEO and um, cold outbound. Um, cold outbound is going well right now. We have been testing it for the last three weeks. Um, how does that work? Tell me how you outreach to somebody cold. Where do you use? Where do you do it? Um, we are using Apollo. Um, to prospect and um, send cold emails. So we are prospecting based on the pain points of different uh, personas. So we have three different personas. One is a SaaS, um, e-commerce and agencies. Um, they, like, they all have different pain points for analytics. Um, we are using different templates um, and adding the pain points in them. And um, when, when a template works um, better than others, we use that template and go forward with that. Um, we book around uh, my, one of my co-founders and me. Uh, we are doing it full time right now. We are only doing sales um, right now and SEO. Um, so we are each booking around five to 10 um, meetings per week. Um, but we only started like three weeks ago. So right now it's starting to work um, better. Um, and other than that, we are also testing some new um, tactics. So we are um, we will launch a new free survey tool next week on Product Hunt and um, everywhere else. So with that tool, it will be free and we will have a branding, okay, stack branding. Uh, we will get backlinks and some brand awareness. Um, other than that, we are also um, publishing a lot of um, landing pages for e-commerce and CMS platforms. Things like analytics for big commerce, analytics for WooCommerce, etc. It's uh, easier to rank and um, it gets you know like good traction because the people who are clicking on that are like um, high intent people. Um, so we are also trying a lot of new thing, new things to scale the monthly revenue. This is great. And when people sign up for the fifty dollars month plan, are they sticking or or have you had any churn yet? Um, we didn't have um, in like churn yet, but we were on the like 
uh, we are focusing on monthly recurring revenue for the last um, month, month, like two months or so. So we didn't have any churn right now. Um, but like, I don't know if they will churn. Yeah, well, this is great. You've gone from nothing to $900 a month and, you know, very quickly in there two months. So it'll be fun to watch what you guys do next. Have you done this all bootstrapped or did you raise capital? Um, it's all bootstrapped. Um, we are not thinking about raising right now, but we are also like um, meeting with investors, but we don't think about raising right now. Yeah, so why, why meet with investors if you're not thinking about raising? Um, because like it's our first like SaaS company. Uh, my co-founders are 17 and our first developer, like full stack developer is 15 years old. So we're, we want to learn how this works and um, like investors reach out to us and just we just want to learn how they work and like um, how the meetings go. So it's ch just about learning. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. You guys have a great team. I predict big things for you. I can't wait to watch and I'm, I'm thankful you made time to come on the show. So let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite business book? Um, predictable revenue. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Um, Lemlist CEO. You. Yeah. Number three, what's your favorite online tool for building your business? Um, Apollo. Number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Around six to seven. Six to seven. And what's your, well, I, mean, I usually ask married, single, or kids, but I'm going to assume that you're not married and you have no kids, right? Yeah. I live with my parents. Live with your parents. Okay. Last question. You're 18. So what's something you wish you knew back when you were 10 years old? Um, I wish I had, like, I had known that entrepreneurship is really, really hard. <laughs> Guys, there you have it. Hockey Stack. They got their first revenue growth. The founders that are 15, 16, and 18 got their first growth launching on Product Hunt and AppSumo. They're a simple version of Google Analytics plus Hotjar put together. They now have a couple customers paying 50 bucks a month. They went from nothing to $900 per month in revenue in under two months. They've done it all bootstrapped. We'll see what they do next. Amir, thanks for taking us to the top. Thank you. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember, these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at nathanlacka.com forward slash slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right, I'll be in the comments. See ya.